Hi everyone, welcome to episode number 8 of Will Lem Plays through just the first rank of a bunch of custom packs in Neolemix. So for episode 8, I'm going to play a pack by Grams88, intended, um, called Ski Sloping Lemmings. I was originally going to do Nuked Lemmings, and in fact I did film uh, part of Nuked Lemmings. I did the first 10 levels. I only managed to solve 6 of them, and I thought they were a bit too difficult for the purposes of this series. And also, Nuke Lemmings is only one rank at the moment. And I did decide early on, after doing some of the earlier episodes, that I didn't want to do any more packs that are just one rank. I wanted to do packs that have several ranks, so that I'm looking at just the first one. However, since I did start to film that episode, I am going to feature my favourite level from Nuke Lemmings as a bonus at the end of this episode. For now, though, let's have a look at Ski Sloping Lemmings. So level one then is release rate practice. Let's have a look at this. Right, okay, so there's no skills. And it is, it looks to me to be just release rate practice. Okay. I'll tell you what then. Let's get it solved as quickly as possible. Okay, fair enough, a nice gentle introduction. Got it in under a minute, which is uh, which is always nice. Easy one, okay, yeah, this is what we want. We want easy ones. Oh, okay, so it's a, uh, it's a floats tutorial. So, okay, let's, let's do this again then. And, uh, Whee. Nice cascade of floating lemmings. Come on, lems. There we go. Right. Under a minute again. Good, good. So level three then. Let's race each other. Blue slope three. Yeah, so each of the... Uh, each of the... Um ranks is given a colour. So it goes blue, red, black, and I think the final one is orange. I think orange is the uh, the most difficult. But blue is the easiest. Yes, under a minute again. Come on. Uh, lost exit. Okay, so it's a hidden exit level. Let's... Give it a quick look. Oh, there it is, okay. So, let's... Uh, bit of a minor tutorial. Okay, so it's looking like these levels are, are all pretty much tutorials. So far. Ah, actually, I need to make sure that, there it is, yeah, oh, okay, uh, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'll wait till we get around the other side, so, right, okay, so not exactly, um, not exactly a pushover, any means. Even though it's a tutorial level, I, had, I did have to uh, think my way around that a little bit at the end. So yeah, very good. Uh, it's downhill from here on. Okay, so maybe they do start to get a bit more difficult, a bit more thinky. Okay, so this one is, oh, it's Bashers. The title suggested it may have been Diggers, but um, Bash as it is, getting through all these posts. And the maps are starting to get bigger now as well. This is this is a, quite a large map. It's a, quite a feature of, a, of Graham's 88's levels, that. He likes to do very, very big, sprawling, quite artistic um, 
maps. It's uh, quite unique. It's quite. Um, it's quite. Uh, you know, you know, you're playing one of Grams 88's levels because it's, it's they're these massive. See, look, this one is a perfect example. It's huge, uh, and this is a bomber tutorial. So, it, in a way, it kind of having really large maps like this kind of it kind of plays with your perception of of space because, like. I can usually rely on looking at a map and going, right, okay, that's probably a splat drop. That's probably gonna be like two or three builders. And I'm usually pretty good at, at guessing. I don't always get it right, but I'm usually pretty good at guessing my way around a map, like without using clear physics. Um, so I'm just gonna, I think I've used too many bombers here, actually. I probably didn't need to use that many. Um, yeah, in fact, I wasn't concentrating for a moment, then I'm just gonna go back. Um, see if I can get through in less. Um, yeah, having big maps kind of like, it kind of plays with your perception of, of space. And so it makes it more difficult to kind of guess how far uh, something is. There we go, yeah, that's better. So it kind of means that you have to concentrate a little bit more, I think. Right, so can they drop off there? For example, that, I can't tell whether that's a splat drop or not. I'm gonna have to use my ruler because, because the map is larger than uh, I wonder whether I can use just one bomber here to get the... No, I am going to have to use two. And then, they obviously, that's obviously a splat drop. But they're going to walk off the edge, so... I need to drop them through fairly sharpishly. Maybe not that sharpishly. Oh, there. Yeah, that's it. And then just need to get another turnaround going here. That should do it. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, so a bomber tutorial, but definitely not trivial by any means. Um, to dig or not. To dig. Kind of felt the need to finish that quote. Um, fine there and then they'll all gather here great okay okay I hope uh, what I'm thinking is that I'm not sure whether they're gonna survive that no they're not then I need to get them to about there and even then it's not it's not survivable and neither is that gonna be that isn't that's not survivable either Right, what I might have to do here, I'm sure this isn't intended because it's supposed to be a tutorial, a digger tutorial level, but I'm gonna have to do some cancels. I need that second one to cancel the first one. No. Really?
There we go. And then same again to make like a little staircase going down. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll do the same but coming from this direction. This is like definitely not the way to solve this level, but yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm stuck. I don't know how to solve this because there aren't any. Right, no, hang on, hang on. I'm, I think I'm overthinking this. I think I need to get them into this one quadrant here. So I'll do that. I'll do that first. Question is how? How, how, how? Because. Like wherever you dig from, it's not, it's not survivable. This is, this is not easy. This is not easy at all. Right, and then I need, if I stop that digger there, it'll make a little lip. Okay. But then ideally I need to do the same. That's going to be way too far. So, but right. Embarrassingly enough, I don't think I can solve this. Right, I know what you could do. I know what you could do. If I increase the release rate to ninety nine now, that will drop into there, okay? Because because I've got a little step there, and then this guy. I'll get him to dig here. Uh, I'm just gonna have to lose a couple. Right, that's okay. Um, what? Oh, right, forget it. No, that... that I almost can't believe that's a tutorial level. That was really, I just couldn't see how to do that at all. Anyway, make sure you block blue slope level eight. So, let's try and do this with as few blockers as possible. So, get them all the way down to there. Is that survivable? Yes. But again, because the map's so big, it's kind of difficult to really judge just by looking. Which kind of adds an extra layer of um, intrigue to the puzzle, I guess. Okay, so. Building test, blue slope nine. Okay, so this is gonna be a builder tutorial. See, I don't mind these. I don't mind a, a bit of building. It's, it, I find it quite therapeutic sometimes. Plus, again, with the map being so big, I'm gonna to have to make sure that I don't accidentally create um, you know, splat drops. So yeah, it's not just a simple case of just just build. I've got to make sure that I'm not accidentally um, creating bridges that the lemmings can't walk up without dropping off and dying. So there's a little bit of, and that's that is almost certainly a splat drop. Okay. Okay. Right, so it's not, it's not as easy as just building, because I've got to separate a worker out with this being a splat drop. I can't just send the whole crowd over. So I've got to somehow separate out a worker using only builders. 
how on earth am I gonna do that? Wait, I know, I know. I'll do, um, I'll make a blocker here. Yeah, there we go, that's, that's done it. Phew! Right, okay, so now it is just a simple case of building up to the exit. But, I don't know, I suppose I've got to make sure that I don't run out of builders. So there is that. do love the uh, the little builder skip uh, hotkey that I've got assigned it's very very handy right I think that's it so now I just need to get these guys out of here okay so again it wasn't I did have to kind of figure figure that out um, so it wasn't an uh, entirely trivial builder tutorial uh, nine minutes as well, let's solve that one. Okay, treat earth well, blue slope 10. So what I'll do, I'll try and... That's it. I'll try and get across here using just builders and then I'll just build these guys out from here. Let's just see what happens, builder-wise. Right, okay, so it's obviously not that. I don't know, I can't help but feel like I've got it right in terms of separating the worker. But I've got to somehow can serve as many builders as I can. So, let's get across here with as few as possible. Right, okay, so that's saved two. But then how do I get these guys out? Ah, I've just seen it. I've just seen it. Clever. Okay. So we're going to get the last lemming out to be our worker. In fact, we don't even need to do that. I just need to make sure that I start, start the bridge fairly soon. And then, yeah, there we go. Clever. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I don't need to be quite as careful with the builders as I thought, but I'm going, I am going to stretch this last one out here just to get him onto there. Yeah, I like that one. That was uh, very cheeky. A very, very cheeky level, that. Brillo. Okay, so cold night. Blue slope 11. Oh, good. This is nice to see. Lots of skills. Plenty of different ways to solve this one. So, bump. Yeah, so this one's really easy. Just... Simple case of that, really. There we go. Uh, extremely tough level. Right, so it's one way you've got to get through the ceiling. Okay. I've got a technique for getting through ceilings when you've got miners like this. There is a way to do it. 
and I'll show you now. So you do two frames, and then before you get to the third frame, you make, make him build again. And then, as soon as he turns round, you mine two frames, and then build. And if you do that, it minimizes well, it just it gets it done quicker, basically. It just gets it done that bit quicker. And it'll probably... Probably connect now. Yeah, okay. So, if there's a little bit of space here. I wonder whether it's... No, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just bash cancel the rest of the way through, I think. Right, okay, so it's just a case of building out from here. And then get these guys out from here. Okay, that's it, yeah. I probably, like, I probably wouldn't say that's the first rank level, that's, because obviously, you know, I'm using animation cancels there, and uh, it is quite tough if you don't know how to kind of, because there's quite a lot of unusual techniques going on on that level, you know, you've got to kind of break your way through a ceiling uh, without bombers, and um, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's teaching you about animation cancels, I guess, so... Um, so there's that kind of a tutorial aspect to it and you're given plenty of skills to kind of experiment uh, but it, it's certainly not the easiest level um, that one it is indeed a really tough level so yeah uh, good though so yeah let's move on four temples right okay so it's one of these I think this is a, a, a disjoint union that's, I think that's what this is called where you've got f literally four levels in one really um, but you've got to decide how to distribute the skills that's kind of a challenge with this one right so that one is just a case of building uh, that one I feel like I want to send a climber up to build over that Uh, that one send up a climber to build over that somewhere though I am gonna have to use a blocker and build over a blocker so I'll do that here right so I'll start at the top here we'll do this one first and let's see what happens yeah so that is just a simple case of building over there and then I just need to build these guys out of here now. Cool. And then what I'll do is I'll use replay insert mode. And, and do each one in turn. Yeah, I'd say this this level is really good, particularly for Neo Lemmings, actually, because, you know, it's a good one for teaching you about using replay insert mode, I suppose. And also, it's, you know, good fun to, uh, to solve four levels in one. Cool, so yeah, that's a excellent level, that one. I think that's definitely a good, solid first rank level. So the puzzles aren't too difficult. It's teaching you about concentrating on different, uh, well, different mini levels within the same level, but you've got to think about how to distribute the skills. So it's got that kind of 
um, it's got that aspect to it where you've got one skill set but four different levels to solve and, and even though they are easy you've still got to think your way around it and also because it's Neo Lemix, you know, you can make use of the frame stepping backwards and forwards. You can make use of the replay insert mode. So there's quite a lot going on in that level. And that is a definitely a good, solid first rank level. Probably the best in the pack so far, actually. Right, so on to level 14 then, Knots Landing. Wow, okay, so this is another huge map. Plenty of builders. I li See, I like to see that. Like some, some players, when you see loads of builders, they're just like, oh God, but I, I love it. I mean, when you're playing Lemmings in Neo Lemmings, you're not waiting around for builders for ages. So you can just skip to the end of a build. So if there's plenty of builders, it's just like, right, great. I've got, you know, loads of the most powerful skill. This is, you know, I can pretty much solve this however, however I want to solve it. That's kind of, that's kind of how I see it anyway. There's seven climbers, so what I'm guessing is that the intention is to send multiple workers out at different times. I was going to say there may be a way to carve out a solution with uh, just the one lemming on the go. We shall see. Bit of a bash cancel there, why not? And then, uh, that's it, done. So now I just need to build these together. Okay, so I didn't need to use uh, more than one climber. I thought it might be the kind of level where you're sending multiple workers out, but not so. Um, yeah, a, a fairly straightforward, you know, send out a pioneer lemming to prepare the route for the crowd level in the end, so yeah. Good stuff. It's always nice to have one of those in an early rank, just, just one that you can just play through, you know, get a level under your belt and uh, give you a bit of momentum. So yeah, good stuff. Right then, Old Palace, Blue Slope, level 15. Nice use of the crystal tile set here. So, so I think this one is a fake disjoint union because it's three hatches and you've got to do different things with each hatch and make a slightly different route for each one, but they're not entirely separate. And it's probably going to be the case that I'll need to get ones from this hatch to prepare a route from, for these guys, for example. Um, so that I think that's what a fake disjoint union is. Possibly. I mention it because that was, fake disjoint union was one of the uh, rules for the most recent uh, level contest, level making contest. Anyway, right, okay, I'm gonna send a worker out from here and, wait, hang on, no, let's just get, get these guys into here first. Yeah, so I'm gonna get these guys into here, climb out of here. Cool, okay, so that, they're all in there now. So what I'm feeling now is build across here. Can I do that in two? Just, just about managed it. And then if I use another digger here. Okay, so what I can do now is build up to there and then, well actually no, I'll mine, I'll mine these guys out first. I should have saved a basher for that. Oh, actually, I suppose I can just build over it, can't I? Yeah. Didn't want to use too many builders for that, but that's okay. That's okay. 
still got 11 and that should be more than enough to get these guys out of here. Saying that, I need to make sure I get this lot out first. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, and then that should connect. Ah, that's stopping them now. That's no good. Right, what I'll do then is I'll do a little dig here to, so that this climber isn't going to be an issue. And then I can do that. And then they're all on the same level now, which is good. And then what I can do is mine through that. Okay, wow, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. I was like so absorbed in it. I, was, I forgot that I was filming. I wasn't really talking much during that. But um, yeah, that, I, I really enjoyed that level. That was cool. That was a good absorbing level. Yeah, that was that was great. That, that was probably my favourite uh, level in this pack so far. Crystal tile set, so brill. But also loads of different stuff to do. Lots of different possible solutions. Uh, the solution that I eventually came to, I just kind of was riffing it as I was going along. And there were different ways that I could have done certain things. I could probably have uh, optimised certain skill usages and things like that. But yeah, I just really really enjoyed that level that was again i would say that was a good example of a first rank level because it it's just absorbing you just you're just playing it you just i wasn't thinking too much about it i was just kind of going right what needs to happen now okay that needs to happen and because there are loads of different uh little mini obstacles to get through because of the cobwebs it was kind of you know, you're all. I was always thinking, but but I didn't run out of skills, and I liked that. In fact, that was it. That was it. I was always thinking, but I didn't run out of skills. That is what makes a good first rank level, or that is one of the things that makes a good first rank level. Anyway, like feeling absorbed and feeling like you're in the moment, you're in the level, you're thinking about what you're doing but you're not running out of skills. You've not got that element of difficulty yet. So I think that's it. that appears to be one of the keys. Once you start getting into territory where you're running out of skills when you're trying to do a solution, I'd say if that's happening, it should be in rank two or higher. Rank one levels, you should never run out of skills or... If there is only enough skills for, for the intended solution, then it should be a fairly straightforward solution. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that was good. I feel like playing that level is, is getting me closer to, to an idea of what a good first rank level is. So yeah, excellent. Strange Place, Blue Slope 16. Strange Place. And they right that stops them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Bash through here. Build up to there. And then there's no point in going up there because they're just gonna drop down onto this slope and, and be milling about down here anyway. That's about the highest that I need to build from. So let's do this. That's 
two, I haven't got a basher. I've just noticed I haven't got a basher. Well, I did have a basher, but I used it there. Okay, so maybe don't use the basher there. I'll use the I'll use the bomber for now, but I'll try and keep an eye out for ways to solve it without using a bomber. Well, that's obviously where all the rest of the builders get used. Sorry, the client, um, yeah, builders. And now I do need a climber to go up here. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get up here in two because I'm, I'm gonna need a builder to turn, to turn that lemma around. So let's see if it's possible to get up to this structure. With two builders, yes it is. Yes it is. Okay. Okay, so what I can do now then is dig down here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Whew. Well that was pretty tricky. That was pretty tricky. I'd, I, I'd personally put that one at round two, I think, because that was a bit, you know, the, the skills are very exact. I didn't end up using the blocker. Um, and I'd say it required, that required a lot of sort of thought. Ah, this guy. That's a problem. I thought I'd solved it then, but I haven't. Oh man. Right, yeah, this is definitely not a rank one level. Um, this is like two, maybe even three difficulty. By, by my standards, of course. I'm just I'm just giving my my own sort of barometer of difficulty. I'd I'd have this in rank three, I think, because very limited skill set. There is obviously a very exact solution that I am currently not seeing. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, I'm going to be a bit cheeky. And I'm going to do an animation cancel. This is almost certainly not intended, but it saves me a bunch of builders. Ultimately, allow me to. Well, it's it's a back route. It's a back route. But again, I'd probably say that this level is a bit too difficult for rank one. So, not sure what the intended solution is there, but I have managed to back route it. So I don't know. Maybe if left as is, could maybe go in rank two. Uh, if it was back route fixed. I'd probably say rank three for that one. But again, that is just my opinion. Anyway, blue slope 17, burst pipe. This is not a pipe. to get a worker out so I'm gonna have to do some I'm either gonna have to build a worker out looking at it there's lots of there aren't that many destructive skills and there's quite a lot of builders so 
I am going to just build a workaround, I think. Okay. I think just to begin with, I'm just going to do what seems the most obvious. So if it's ever possible to get out of an area using builders, I will do. Okay, I've only got four builders left now. So one, two, three, I only need three. And then one for the uh, crowd. Brill. Okay, not too bad then. Yeah, that was quite easy in the end. Yeah, so that's more like it. A bit more of a rank one kind of feel to it. Um, not entirely uh, easy though, because like the terrain, because it, because it goes in this kind of shape here like this, you, you have got to kind of, you can't just bash your way through. You, you've got to use some of the builders here. And I did run out of builders. So it's not entirely trivial. There is there is a lot of thinking to do. But again, I'm not running out of skills. So that's good. That that is, I think, yeah. I think this what this pack is showing me is that that's pretty much the hallmark of a, of a first of a first rank level, uh, or one of them. It's one of the hallmarks. There's 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 many other. Um, things that make a, a first rank level good. If it's if it's a tutorial level, but it's not trivial, um, then that that makes a good first rank level. Um, like maybe something Nepster style where you've got uh, quite a complex map and a relatively limited skill. So you know, his were all five of each. Uh, that's a good amount for it to be challenging, but you, but you are able to kind of you're still able to just about carve your own solution out. I'd say a sweet spot for that kind of thing is maybe about eight of each, but I don't know, maybe some people would find that too easy. Uh, but anyway, very dangerous trail. Let's, uh, let's get the last few levels of blue slope done. And yeah, again, loving this, 28 builders, my kind of deal. Yeah, so again, this is a level I'm feeling I can just, I can just go for it and uh, not worry too much. Although that is not survival, so I'm gonna have to sort that out somehow. Um, right, I know what I can do. So I'll dig a bit here, turn it around, and then just do a backwards bridge. Another, another safety drop here. So yeah, this one's kind of been a lot of safety drop making. And then of course, I've got to get into the exit there as well. So let's try and do that with a basher. Can I do that with a basher? Yes, I can. Brill, okay, so let's release the crowd then. And with a bit of luck, I'll be able to mine and then bash out of this lot. Cool. And all of this should now be survivable. Yeah, good. Yeah, that was good.
Yeah, decent level. Uh, Search in Snow, Blue Slope 19. Again, you're seeing th these maps are just absolutely huge. This one's enormous. Oh, where's the exit? Right, I think we might have a hidden exit here. I'm gonna see if I can guess where it is without using clear physics. It seems to me like it might be there or it might be there or it's probably there. It's probably there. Should we, uh, should we do a CPM and see if I'm right? Oh, it's there, okay, fair enough. So it was gonna be one of these two mounds, wasn't it, but it's that one. Okay. Let's do it. That was a fun one because the because the map's so big you've kind of you've kind of just got to go along with it and see what happens as you're going along yeah nice nice big exploration kind of level I think that's one where because there's lots of different like there's probably lots of different ways that you can do that it'd be good to do for uh, skills you can't live without this one because, you know, the skill set is quite varied. And I'm sure there's lots of different ways that you could, that you could make your way down to the exit there. Awesome, okay. So, that was uh, Blue Slope from Ski Sloping Lemmings by Grams88. Uh, I'm gonna show you now uh, my favorite level from the Nuked Lemmings pack, which Grams88 has recently released. I filmed this one the other day, so we'll cut to that now. Let's try it, level 10. Sand slabs. Nice little smiley face there. Well, I, I guess, uh, what's that one? Dismissive face. Um, This one looks doable. three lemmings. There's only three lemmings. Okay. I know what to do. I think. I know what to do. Oh, this is quite easy, I think. If this is the solution. <laughs> so he just floats down there and then just waits there. Yeah, so he's gonna have to dig first. So 
So yeah, that uses a digger, but hopefully. Right, there we go, and then just mine under that. And then I need the climber to get the other guy out. So right, he can just wait there then. Yeah. Yeah, you can just wait. No, hang on. I think he can just wait there, and then I get this guy to climb. <laughs> He'll then rescue the blocker. If this is the solution, this is a good level. I like this one. What I do need to do is with only two downwardly destructive skills, I need to somehow, I'm thinking mine there to get, to make a little walk. I could even build, I've got enough builders that I could even build mine. But I somehow need to turn this one around. So let's just let him walk off for now. Um, oh, wait a minute. I've just seen something. I could do this, couldn't I? If I dig here. should definitely be able to there we go the only thing is what do I do about the guy that's now going to climb off I can use I can use a builder or a basher to turn him around that's not a problem at all oh yes that was that was a great level that's probably the best level in this pack definitely super duper yeah, so there we go. I've kind of, I feel like today I've uh, learned a lot again about uh, about what makes a good, uh, easy level. And it's, I think the, the biggest thing that's come out today is that a good, easy level is one where you don't run out of skills, but you are still thinking, you are still in the moment and you are still having to figure out your way around a level. And I think the best example of that today has been this level. Um, old palace um, I think because you've got three hatches and lots of different ways that you can do it plenty of skills but I had to think how am I going to make these safe right I put them in there and then I've got to get a worker out from here but I've got to make sure that these can also make their way across here and there were, there's, because it's cobwebs as well, there's lots of little mini obstacles to get through. And it wasn't just a simple case of bashing and building your way across the level. You know, I had to think about what order I was going to do things in. And there were several moments where, you know, I had to figure out what to do with the climber. And just, just little things like that that would be difficult to kind of plan out from the start. You've just kind of got to play it and see how it goes. And because you've got plenty of skills, you're allowed to kind of you know, you're allowed a bit of leeway and a bit of creativity. Again, I think it just does, it comes down to that for me, really. I like to be creative when I'm solving levels and good, easy levels allow you to do that. So with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Will Lem Plays Through Just the First Rank of a Bunch of Custom Packs in Neo Lemmix. Uh, we haven't had the uh, error message today. The, uh, an error occurred whilst trying to save data. It hasn't happened today this is i think the first episode where that hasn't happened i am on neo lemix 12.9.4 now so i don't know maybe maybe there's been a fix and that arrow won't won't happen but we shall see 
Anyways, thanks for joining me for this and I'll see you for episode nine.